Our new enemy is going to be very similar to the asteroid, but this one is going to shoot back. If we look over in the assets, I have added a sprite jelly, and just because this looks kind of like a space jellyfish, I feel. Uh, it is 48 by 32, and it has two sub-images. If I open the edit sprite, you can see it kind of wiggles a little too fast. Again, we're going to have to slow this down the same way I did with the player thrust. Its origin point is set at 0 and 16, which sets it over to the middle left, and it does not have precise collision checking. Hit OK. And I've also got an object, sorry, a sprite enemy bullet. And this is a very tiny 8x8 eight eight yellow ball with the origin centered, not precise collision checking. I've created objects from these. I've created an object jelly and an object bullet in the enemies category. First thing I'm going to do is work on the object bullet because it's simple. I have given this the object super parent and actually before I start working on this I want to reopen the object player laser and set its parent to the super parent as well. And you will see what I'm going to do with the super parent later on. So this works just like the asteroid. We want to add a create event and have the move fixed go to the left at a speed of 10 not relative. And that's it for that. So let's open the object jelly. Parent is object enemy parent. And first thing we need to do is slow down its sprite speed. So let's add event, create. Come over to main one and change sprite. We're going to give it the sprite jelly. Sub image minus one, so it plays through all of them, but I'm going to give it a speed of a 0.3. That should slow it down so it looks right. This needs to move across the screen just like the other one, so let's go to move. Going to select move fixed, drag that underneath, go to the left, and we're going to give this a speed of four. It's going to go much slower than the bullet. Click OK. And since this object is going to fire back at the player, we need to set up a similar firing mechanism like we did with the player. So let's go to control, set variable, give it is underscore firing, and give it false. Now you might be wondering if Game Maker is going to get confused because we're using the is firing variable again. But this is firing is a private variable attached to the object jelly. The is firing that we used before was a private variable attached to the object player. So even though they are the same name, who they apply to makes them different variables. And I just called them a private variable, which is essentially the opposite of a global variable, which I talked about in the previous game tutorials. So let's click OK. And now we need to have it shoot at intervals. So let's add event, step, step. We need to check if we're firing, so let's come over to our test variable. We're going to test for is underscore firing equal to false. Click OK and drag some blocks under. And if it is false, then we need to immediately turn it to true. So set up variable is underscore firing to true. Let's create the bullet. So main one, create instance, drag it underneath. We are going to look for our object bullet. We can set it to our origin point, 0, 0, which will be on the left of our sprite jelly sprite. Hit relative, hit OK. And then we need to set up a timer so that it will reset this whole mechanism. So let's go to main 2, set timer. We'll give it a number of steps, say 45. So about a second and a half. Hit OK. Then we need to set up that alarm, so add event, alarm, alarm 0, come back to control, set variable, is underscore firing, and set that back to false. Hit OK. All of the interactions for being shot and exploding are already set up because we've done the enemy parent, so let's hit OK. Let's open up our room 1, zoom out just a bit, and now we can get rid of these asteroids and replace them with a couple of these object jellies. Hit the tick mark and test it. Okay, so they fire at intervals and if I can get in here I can shoot them. 
Now eventually we're going to want to make it so that we can run into the object jellies and they can blow us up and their bullets can shoot us. Again, we're going to hold off until we set up a, the special interaction for that because I want the player to be slightly invulnerable. But we need one more enemy before we get to that point, so we'll set that up in the next video.